Let's just settle into a nice, comfortable, seated posture. <clears throat> and just uh, allow yourselves to go inwards. Uh, apart from Jay, who's in coming towards midday in Australia, where she is, uh, most of us here are getting ready for bed. Some of you are past bedtime, and I really appreciate you coming. <clears throat> so just uh, just be aware, you know, this could be the last little practice you do for today. It could be the last thing you do before you put your head on your pillow. So have your feet firmly planted on the ground, the knees about a hips width apart, if that's how you're sitting. Shoulders aligned with the hips and just imagine this string of pearls of light. This is your spine, stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. <clears throat> just lengthen the spine. And just <clears throat> relax the scalp and the forehead. So just allow your whole face to soften. And just notice that as you do that, how much everything just kind of lets go. I sort of often, I'm so surprised always, I never quite realize how much tension I have in my face, or around my mouth, or at my eyes. And then you can relax the back of the head. Relax the jaw on the back of the tongue and the neck and the shoulders, the throat, the chest and the belly and all of your limbs. If you wish, you can just have your hands just resting where they're comfortable. And take a nice deep breath. Notice the sensation of the air as you inhale. And then exhale. And then be aware if there are any sounds in your environment, just allow those sounds to be there. Try not to follow them with the mind. And then just notice what's what's arising in the mind, what, what thoughts might be coming up in the mind. And try not to judge or criticize. Just notice what's there. Be happy to see it. And just kind of check it out like a, an objective observer. Just very quietly noticing. 
because once we see what's there in our mind, we've got an opportunity now to deal with it. And we can bring then all the people of our life to our mind, the ones we love, uh, ones we don't like so much, and our strangers. And imagine they're all changing place. They can all change place, these relationships at any time. This friend, this enemy, this stranger. And remember, they're all equal and they wish to be happy. They wish to be free from suffering and having this extraordinary capacity for Buddhahood. So we'll do this meditation this evening for the benefit of all these people of our life and by extension, all sentient beings. So we start by thinking, you know, there's no negativity that we can't purify. I just, every time I say that, I just remember the faces of these men that I was visiting at the Sierra Conservation Rehabilitation Center, which just sounds it's like a very fancy name <laughs> for prison out there in Jamestown, on the way to Yosemite. And, uh, you know, once they realized that, you know, there, there was no negativity that could not be purified, you could just see the look of relief on their faces, all of them. It was so beautiful to watch. Although they do say when the prisoners choose to come and engage in classes and, and, you know, topics, the things that might give themselves a, a little bit of a leg up that might better themselves in some way. This is usually the top 10% of prisoners who are trying to attain what they, you know, thinking about good behavior, whatever. So they were really interested in this purification process. And it just kind of stunned me because we take it for granted. But these guys had nothing and no one. They're at the bottom of the heap as far as society is concerned. But here, this practice gave them an opportunity to realize that whatever it was that they did that got them in there, it could be purified. So we start with this idea of regret. So we had this conversation on Saturday about regret. And someone said it was for them, they sort of felt in a way bad thinking about regret. But regret is, you know, not, not how we sort of think about it on in day-to-day -day lives. It's it's slightly differently nuanced than that. In this particular and also remember this word regret is translated from Tibetan in this practice, these practices, to English. So regret is more of a feeling of it's definitely not guilt. Guilt is like I'm such a bad person. Regret is more of a taking responsibility kind of attitude. As well. Actually, I did this thing, and gosh, here's a, here's a practice that I can use to deal with it. It's almost like, oh, I found a boil on my arm. Fantastic. I can do something about this. I regret I've got this boil because it hurts. But I've seen it now and I can do something with it. So it's more along those lines. So I hope no one's giving themselves a hard time with regret. And maybe we can talk about that in another session if you are. And the reason to regret is based on this logic of karma. So we experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions. So you've, got, you've just got to be very pragmatic about it. You know, like being objective is helpful. It's like, oh gosh, this thing's happening now. I wonder if this is a, a reaction, this is a response to some karmic action, some action that I did in the past. And so we experience everything due to our past karma, having harmed others, we're going to experience some kind of harm in the future, suffering in the future. 
We cannot bear the thought of the future suffering that we will experience. We know from our present suffering we don't want any more, so logically it makes sense to remove the karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering for us. So think like this. I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows because I do not want the future suffering, I'm sick of suffering, and also regret any anger, attachment and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others and then think again, I'm sick of this suffering and then think what can I do about it whom can I turn to? So here we come to the power of reliance. And here's where we rely upon the Buddha, who we see as a doctor, who has the methods that we can use to purify. So we're not needing Buddha to forgive us. We're not looking for a higher power. We don't want some kind of forgiveness. And this is what I think was so wonderful for our prisoners, was because they, you know... They don't, I mean, they don't necessarily need somebody to forgive them. They're not children. What they need is a practice to be able to do to purify themselves. So all of us need this. So this is what this Buddha Vajra Sattva practice gives us. Um, the methods. And it's kind of like, you know, the word is purification, but I actually think of it as healing. Purification, in a way, for me, sounds a little bit like I did something really wrong. <laughs> healing sounds like, oh, this is something that I can fix. Anyway, that's how it feels to me. But it's called purification, so that's what we'll do. So imagine that uh, Vajrasattva is above the crown of your head. You also imagine this is your teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit. And he's made of this beautiful, radiant, blissful white light, sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon cushion. And he has a beautiful, radiant face. His eyes are long, and they're peaceful and full of love and compassion for you and all those people of your life. And he has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom and the right is holding a vajra which represents the indestructibility of compassion and their being crossed represents a union of these two and this symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened by this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva May I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So here we have this little section on compassion. So in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings, the very beings we have harmed and those who have harmed us by developing compassion for them. So think particularly of people you've harmed recently, of beings you've harmed recently and in the past, and then in general all beings we have ever harmed since beginning this time. And then remember those who have harmed you, we have compassion for them because they're going to suffer as the result of the harm they've done to you. So make a strong aspiration to do this practice for the benefit of all these people of your life and, uh, and for all these sentient beings. So we start with the power of the remedy in terms of the practice. So this is the medicine, doing this purification practice and there's we start with the body Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar like coming out of a hose quite forcefully from his heart it arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body filling you completely and it keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you've ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid and this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Didu me boa, Sutokaya me boa, Supokaya me boa, Anarakta me boa, Sawa Sidi me piyatsa Sawa Kama Sita me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe, Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita, 
Dida me boa, sitokai me boa, sipokai me boa, anorecta me boa, sawa sidi me piata sawa kama sita me, sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagoan, sawa tata gata vajama me muta vajabawa maha samaya sata a humpe, and vajasapa samaya manupalaya vajasapa dina patita, dida me boa, sitokai me boa, sipokai me boa, anorecta me boa, sawa sidi me piata sawa kama sita me, Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita dhira me bawa sitokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa anorecta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe Vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dhira me bawa sitokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa anorecta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe Vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dhira me bawa sitokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa Anorecta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dhira me bawa sitokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa anorecta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan Sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified and think there's no way you could do anything but benefit others now with this body of yours. And next is a purification of our speech and Vajrasattva very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra and the arcs around and quite forcefully enters your crown and fills your entire body, except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech, and this overflows and disappears into space, not one atom left. So just imagine all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech and lying and talking badly about others behind their backs. All of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as we recite the mantra. Vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dhira me bawa sitokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa anorecta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutta vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dhira me bawa sitokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa Anorecta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajrabawa maha samaya sapa a hum pe vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dhira me bawa sitokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa anorecta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dhira me bawa sitokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa anorecta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe Vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dhira me bawa sitokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa anorecta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dhira me bawa sitokaya me bawa sipokaya me bawa Anorecta me bawa sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe 
and Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anuracta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpiyatsa Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe So just feel so happy that your speech is now purified and imagine it's not possible to do anything but benefit others now with your speech, including yourself. And next is the purification of the mind, and Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra, and this arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. So, you know, we walk into a pitch black room, flick on the switch, and the light that comes instantly dispels the darkness in the room. So just as the light hits your heart chakra, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind, all the attachment and neediness and bitterness and grudges, anger, depression, resentment, jealousy, all of this is instantly dispelled, not one atom left as you recite the mantra. Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Vajra Sapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapha Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anurakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anurakta meboa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sitta me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mami mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita dida meboa sitokaya meboa sipokaya meboa anurakta meboa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sitta me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anurakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum so again, be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of all of our own suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech, are completely purified. And think there's no space now in your heart for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So next is the purification of even the imprints of negativity of the body, speech and mind. And this time imagine Vajrasattva sends light and nectar and it fills you completely and eradicates even the subtlest imprints of negative energy. As we recite the mantra. Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapha Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anurakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sitta Me 
Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagavan Sawatata Gata Vajima Mimata Vajabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe Ambaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vaja Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sitokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anorakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagavan Sawatata Gata Vajima Mimata Vajabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe Ambadra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anorakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawatata Gata Vajama Mimutsa Vajabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe Ambadra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anorakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawatata Gata Vajama Mimutsa Vajabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe Ambadra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anorakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawatata Gata Vajama Mimutsa Vajabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe Ambadra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anorakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawatata Gata Vajama Mimutsa Vajabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum so now feel completely purified. There's not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to your enlightenment have been removed. So really try and imagine that. It's really happened. And now is the power of resolve. And so this is kind of um, comes off the back of this power of regret, which is the first one we did. And it's the fourth and final step in the purification process. And it's really crucial because we have to make a decision to not harm, to refrain from harming with our body and our speech and our mind. And this aspiration, this determination, this decision becomes like a beacon that guides our body and our speech and our mind in a new direction, new neural pathways, new habits, more functional thinking. Actually, and we have the power and we have the control over our own mind, not anyone else, just us. It's very empowering when you think this way. And you know, we may, some people may be uh, moving a little different pace than others. So you don't compare yourself to anybody else, just wherever it is you're at is where you're at. So we also have to be a little bit humble with ourselves as well and not give ourselves a hard time. So rejoice in your efforts. Think of something simple that you'd like to work with and stick to it. And slowly, slowly change happens. Change happens mostly, though, through consistency, determination. Gives us strength. So Vajrasattva is delighted with us, wants to merge with your mind and melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown and think my teacher's body, speech and mind, Vajrasattva's body, speech and mind and my own body, speech and mind are the same. So next Rinpoche would recommend to meditate on the emptiness and emptiness there is no I, the creator of negative karma, there is no action of creating negative karma and there is no negative karma created. So at whatever level you understand emptiness, you place your mind there for a little while, you can think of all phenomena as being empty, they do not exist from their own side. You can also think that the way things appear to me may not necessarily be the way they actually exist. So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy you've created doing this practice to all living beings and think, may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And so then we think... Uh, the you know long life of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, or the swift return of Lama Rinpoche, 
and for all the long lives of all of your own personal individual teachers. So nice to see you everybody tonight. Thank you very much for hosting Shayla and Source.